local residents to sit around a table and just talk about how they feel, what they value, where their priorities lie, and how they feel about preservation or conservation, uh, we think can be a very valuable asset in the discussion about how to manage this type of environment. Characteristics. A salt marsh basically combines fresh and salt water to create brackish water, which produces an environment that's home to a multitude of animals, some birds, some aquatic life. So here we are in Massachusetts, getting ready to do our first focus groups tonight. We're doing these focus groups to try to gauge public perception of ecosystem value, specifically the Great Marsh here in Massachusetts. So a lot of times it's hard to quantify in monetary terms how people feel about marshlands or natural environments. We've been talking to people from the area and they're saying that they really think that this area helps them with mental health, that if it wasn't here that they would suffer a lot of its cultural identity, um, community identity, so I can see that. Everything's just like teeming with life, some birds, the cute little birds out in the grass, I love little birds. The snails, but there's a lot of them, there's so many. And our other investigations will be taking place in Virginia and Georgia. One of the ecosystem services that's common amongst all three. This marsh, salt marsh, helps protect uh, people from flooding. That's part of the ecosystem service. So we're here, Georgia Coastal Ecosystem Long-Term Ecological Research Site, also Sapelo Island Estuarine Research Reserve, um, established in the 1950s. We're doing focus groups while we're here to um, ask people, locals in the area, what they value salt marshes by asking them, like, what's your most memorable experience out here? When you think of a salt marsh, what do you think of? Um, do you think that the health of the marsh impacts your well-being in any way? 